This is NDTV. And you're watching Classics. Day breaks in People Koti, a village as charming as its name in the Chamoli district of Garhwal. Every summer, People Koti comes alive with busloads of tourists and pilgrims on their way to Badrinath. I'm told that just in the last 10 years, this small village, like any other village in the Garhwal hills, has suddenly turned into a hectic tourist centre. Kesanlal, Kesanlal Srivas, Kachpura, Gosalpur, Santi Nagar, Zilla Jabalpur, Madhya Pradesh. Acha, aur ap kaise bus bus mein gaye? Aa rahe hain apne Zilla Jabalpur se kaise gaye aap Badrinath? Cycle cycle mein aatra. Aapko kathin nahi lagta cycle mein aap akele itne pahadi ilake mein kaise lagta? Aap kaise kar pa rahe hain sab? Dheere dheere 50 kilometer chal dete hain. Fir uske baad aaram karke fir aange, vishram karke aange chal jate. नहीं मम्मी की पाना नहीं जो कुछ गांव के लोगों के साथ चले गए और फिर रास्ते में उनको बहुत बीमार हुआ और वहीं पे उनकी डेथ हुई फिर सब लोग कहते थे कि बद्रीनाथ में वहीं पे अच्छा हुआ उनका धाम हुआ 40 साल 50 साल पहले आज लोग कैसे आते होंगे ये रास्ते नहीं थे हाँ तो कैसे आते होंगे ब्रह्म हरिद्वार � Today there's a road right up to the Badrinath Shrine, known as the resting place or divine abode of Lord Vishnu. On the way, traffic jams at high altitudes and some halts, one at Pandukeshwar to allow returning pilgrims to pass. The road has by now become very narrow, alternating as a one-way path. My name is Ishita Dave and I'm from Ahmedabad. I'm studying mechanical engineering. You're obviously the official camera person on the trip. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because I love photography and so I've recorded all that uh, valleys and all the hills and I, I, I feel that I'm going towards the uh, paradise. It's 7.30 in the morning and we're now about 25 kilometers away from Badrinath. We've jumped onto a bus load of pilgrims from Andhra Pradesh, from Raj Mandri. The last stretch of the journey is particularly bumpy. We're traveling at a snail's pace as the road is narrow and there's sharp bends at each point. Inside the bus, the conditions are very cramped, but nothing seems to deter the enthusiasm of the pilgrims. The steam rising from the hot springs or tapt kunds give you an atmospheric first glimpse of Badrinath, a teeming temple town that comes alive for just six months of the year. Everywhere we can witness a common but growing phenomena where increasingly the pilgrim and the tourist is rolled into one. It's a holy journey into the hills in the peak of summer. Where 
में ज़्यादा गरीबी है हार्ड वर्क है बहुत पहाड़ी लोग भी बहुत स्ट्रगल करते हैं हमारे उनके हिसाब से इन की यहाँ पे मेहनत बहुत ज़्यादा पहले तो सबसे यहाँ से बहुत ज़्यादा ठंडी है ठंडी साल नहीं होती हम लोग से तो आप लोग में से कोई खास कोई मन्नत लड़कों लोग तो मन्नत रखी है वो लोग बोलेंगे क्या फर्क अच्छा आप सिर्फ दर्शन करने आए हैं और One can endlessly observe the yatris and in their behavior get many glimpses of India. The Gujaratis continue to be the intrepid travelers. Usually, the more money, they outnumber even the Bengalis. But as far as food is concerned, it's the South Indian idli dosa which wins hands down. On one side of the river, the places to eat and stay. and on the other the right bank of the river alaknanda the actual shrine legend dates the origins of the temple back to the vedic age though the present temple is traced to the time of the adi shankaracharya in the 8th century